Warning, the following videogram is not recommended for those with epilepsy or other medical conditions where optical effects of flashing lights may cause seizures. Your discretion is advised. Hello spooky sausages, this is Nana Beryl and in a moment we're going to play The Sims 2 with the spooky family, yes we are and we're going to watch it in three dimensions just like my wrinkles love, I know they look like underwater caverns don't they, in 3D just be careful you don't get too close to the screen love I'd hate you to get lost in my underwater cavern wrinkles and not be able to go out trick or treating now if you want to watch this in three dimensions, you're going to need some anaglyph 3D glasses, love. That's right, anaglyph 3D. If you're lucky enough to have Spy Kids 3D or Friday the 13th Part 3D on DVD, you might have one that has the red and cyan or red and blue glasses with them. Now, if you do, you can use those. Otherwise, do a Google search for WikiHow and it will teach you how to make 3D glasses. You just type in how to make 3D glasses. Isn't that amazing? So logical. So on with the show, love. Let's watch The Sims 2 in three dimensions. Hello, sausages and saveloys. This is Nana Beryl, and today we're playing The Sims 2 and we're going to visit Spookyville. Now Nana Beryl hasn't been to Spookyville in quite a while, so let's have a look, what do we have here? I've forgotten. We have the handsome family, Bandan, and we also have a couple of empty lots over here somewhere, don't we? Yes, we do. And then we also have the nerd family. Yes, we have the nerd family, and over further we have the spooky family. Now last time we played the spooky family, we were just moving them in because they couldn't move into the spooky house that Nana Beryl had built for them. So let's just get them started at this normal house that we built for them instead, for now. Oh, you're on pause, love. Why are you on pause? Let's undo that, we'll unpause you. Yes, there we go. Now there is Eva Spooky, who is the mother, and I harm Spooky, the son. And he's saying, he's having a good giggle, he's going, Mum, we flew all this way to have a normal house, what's wrong? Because we need to rebuild. So he's saying that they need to rebuild a house and make a spooky house. He says, don't worry love, we'll rebuild and have a spooky house in no time at all. Once your father's been working at the mortuary, isn't that right love? So he sighs. Yeah, her husband called Devil and Spooky has a good sigh and goes, yes dear, yes dear, of course, we'll rebuild. Now she says, go inside and play Dragon Ball Z love. And her son says, mum, I don't like Dragon Ball Z. She goes, you, you're crazy. You're crazy mum. And she says, love, don't be so un-PC, it's not called crazy anymore, it's called mentally challenged. Now her husband runs inside because he's having prostate problems, but then he gets inside and realises he doesn't actually need to go to the toilet. He's just got a craggy prostate, that's right, love. You've got a craggy prostate, haven't you? Yes, you have, love. Now Devlin is talking about how he'd like to go skiing. And his mum says, oh my god, love, I didn't know you liked skiing, I didn't know you wanted to go skiing. Next thing you know, you'll be wanting to go to Japan and learn sumo wrestling. And he says, mum, how did you know? I've always dreamed of going to Japan and taking up sumo wrestling. And I also want to play tennis against Andre Agassi as well, love. Yes, I want to go to Wimbledon. So now, Elon Musk has just arrived, and he's going to leave them a Hewlett Packard computer with a AMD Zen processor. Yes, it's a Zen 4 processor. It has 64 gigabytes of SD5 RAM. Yes, it does. And it has a graphics card from NVIDIA. And a sound card. A sound card from Creative Labs. Yes, it does. Because it's amazing. Yes, it is. And it also has a Windows keyboard. Yes, it has a light-up Windows keyboard by a gaming company. Yes. So they're very lucky that Elon Musk has given them a Zen 4 processor computer, aren't they? Yes, they are. So they, sh they should be very happy with that. And she says, love, where are we going to put our Zen 4 computer? There's no room on the desk. He says, well, you need to get rid of the newspaper. He goes, go and have a look at the newspaper. 
Go and read the death notices first, and then we can get rid of the newspaper from the desk. So she picks up the newspaper and she looks at the death notices so that she knows how much to order in of, of mortician's wax. Yes, because she does the inventory at the mortuary for her husband. Yes, she does. She does all the office work and clerical and admin at the mortuary. And he says, love, don't put the newspaper down. Pick it up and put it away if you want room for your computer. She says, but love, I just need to tell you first that you need to order in a whole lot more mortician's wax. There's been 16 people die overnight. And he goes, well, that's amazing. He goes, that's great. And she goes, yes, it is, love. It means we can do more business and make lots more money from people dying. So he's gone and put a book away. And she goes, love, why have you put the books away? I got that out for our sprocket to read. It's a book of, of ghost stories for children. So he's going to put the newspaper away because he likes to be tidy even though he's a bit spooky. Yes, he is. Now, she's going to take the book up to her sprocket, and she's going to say, I harm, where are you? So she's going into his bedroom and saying, I harm, I have a book for you. It's called 101 Spooky Stories for Boys. And he says, thanks, Mum, for my spooky stories for boys book. He goes, how gender specific. Now, outside, the welcome wagon has arrived and we have Mrs. Bandan. Yes, Mrs. Bandan and the nerd, yes, we have the, the man from the nerd family, the son from the nerd family, I think it is. Mm. Well, and he says, wow, hello, it. Mrs. Bandan. She goes, wow, you're a bit, you're a bit pale. Mm. You must be vegetarian. Mm. So he walks inside again. And there's Mr. Sprocket. Yes, there's little Sprocket playing with his toys. And there's Eva, and she's welcoming one of the neighbors. She goes, oh my god, I love your top. It's so non-binary, isn't it? You're very unusual. She goes, what's that weird smell? She goes, a weird smell too. You smell quite unusual. She says, well, it's probably my new soap. It's probably my new soap that I got from the supermarket. It's nice and cheap. She really likes him, so she starts playing with his balls. Yes. Now inside, inside, what are they doing inside, love? Oh, okay, so he's just going to check on his son, on his sprocket. He's playing with something. I don't know what it is, a car? I think he's playing with a car. I think it's a car or a boat, one of the two. It's hard to tell from this distance, because I'm looking at this from a very small screen, love. Yes, I am. So she's still playing with his balls, because she kind of likes him. She thinks he's unusual, because he wears red shoes as well, love. She thinks he's very cool and very different. She likes different. And then she realises, oh my god, we haven't done any Halloween shopping. It's Halloween, and we haven't got a costume. She goes, we need to go Halloween shopping. She goes, hold everything, I've got to go shopping for Halloween. So Mrs. Bandana is talking about the elections next year, yes, in America. Now she's ringing up a taxi and she's saying, look, I need a taxi to go to Spooky Spinville and I'm going to take, so she's going to take her husband with her, he's going to take Devlin and also her son, Aham, to go shopping at Spooky Spinville. Now Spooky Spinville is a shopping district of Spookyville, yes it is, and they're going to go Halloween shopping. Now he's also said to her son, look, I promise you we will adopt an alien who will move into a different house. He goes, we will have E.T. If, if he arrives, we will adopt E.T. So he doesn't have so many long distance phone calls to phone home, love. Now because they're spooky, they've just magically hopped into the vehicle. Yes, they have. They've all magically hopped in here. All of them, even though you didn't see them because they're that spooky. Yes, they are very stealth. So they're going to Spooky Spinville and they're going to visit the Halloween shop. Yes, they are. They're going to a Halloween shop. Yes, there we go, the Halloween shop. And here we are at the Halloween shop, love. Yes, so the taxi's just arriving. And isn't that a very nice Halloween shop that Anna Beryl has built? Isn't that lovely, darlings? Yes, it is. And as you can see, they've got a little bit of a theme thing outside too. They've got a little bit of a playground area and a food court. Yes, a little food eatery. But they don't like the normal seats outside because they're not very spooky. Is that Nana Beryl, these seats are just very boring. They're not spooky at all, they're not very gothic. They don't like them, they're just plain wood, they're just normal outdoor furniture, they're meant to be spooky. So they're not very impressed with that, and neither is his son. He thinks Nana Beryl's a bit boring, isn't she? Yes, she's not very good at making spooky environments. So I'm going inside to have a look at something else, because I also need to take a dump. 
So there's some eye harm, he needs to take a dump, so he's trying to find the toilet. He's going, where is the spooky toilet? I suppose that's not spooky either. So he's complaining that it's not spooky enough. Because this place is not very spooky, everything's too colourful. Nana Beryl, you need to go back and do, do an art design course on how to be spooky. So he's going to the toilet to take a dump in their very, very nice classy toilet, which isn't spooky at all. Now it's got pictures of Cher up on the walls, the, the musician, the vocalist, Cher, yes. So it's got Cher wallpaper. Now let's have a look at, at the actual uh, shop. Shall we have a look at one of the top floors? Yes, we will. We have a look at one of the floors up here. And this is the area where they have all the Halloween costumes and clothing. They've also got one downstairs too, but as you can see, you've got Michael Myers on display there in the background. And also, you have a Phantasm poster, yes, from the movie Phantasm, with the late Angus Scrim in it as the tall man, yes. Now, it's one of the few films uh, which actually has a better sequel. Yes, I think the second film, in my opinion, was better than the first one, but it's a, this is, there's five films in that series now. And there's the alien from Mars Tax, isn't it? Yes, it is and a cabinet displaying uh, things there. And then we also have the downstairs area. You see the downstairs area where you can go shopping for Halloween costumes. And that's where the little sprocket has gone. Yes, so Iham is busy shopping for a Jason Voorhees costume. Yes, he is. He wants to be Jason Voorhees for Halloween. Don't you, love? Yes, you do. So he's busy shopping. As you can see, you've got the ghost pictures on the wall as well. And what have we got out here? So, Mum, yes, so Eva is having a soup and she's saying, Darling, there's not enough arsenic in my soup, you need some more. Yes, need to put some more arsenic in my soup. And here's the good witch. And this little girl goes past and says, Hello, witch, I like your pussy. She goes, Thanks, love. Yes, my pussy's very unusual, isn't it? It's a glowing pussy. So she's looking for her munchkins. And she goes, Hello, how are you? She goes, I'm gorgeous, how are you, love? She goes, You smell unusual, don't you? Yes, you do. She goes, you smell of perfume. She goes, what are you doing? She goes, well, I'm looking for the munchkins. She goes, well, I'm just going to see it stand here and play with your pussy for a while. So she goes, you're an unusual pussy, aren't you? You're more like a man cat, but you glow and you're white. But you're very heavy. I have to put you down now because I'm a bit sick of playing with your pussy. And she's thinking about her husband. She's feeling quite amorous. And along comes I Harm and goes, hello, I'm I Harm Spooky. And she says, hello, I Harm Spooky. So the good witch is still looking for her munchkins, but she can't find them. And she's saying, well, maybe you should look for them later. Let's take a break and play ball. So they've decided to take a break and play ball, yes, rather than look for the witch's munchkins, yes. So she magically just drew a softball out of a pocket somewhere on her dress that we can't find. Yes, we can't find the pocket on her dress because it's too skimpy. But she's managed to somehow find a way of finding a softball that must have been tucked behind her dress somewhere. Yes, now inside, we have an American Indian native, yes, who is very keen on playing with the witch's pussy, yes. Everyone seems to like the witch's pussy, yes. And I Harm is looking for a drink in the vending machine, yes, he wants to get a Diet Coke. Now Dad is coming in, yes, so Devlin is coming in to introduce himself. And I harm saying, hello, my name's I harm Spooky, what's your name? He says, well, I'm actually American Indian, so you can just call me Mr. American Indian. He says, well, that's very racist. Now, have you seen the movie called Nightmare on Elm Street? Have you seen the scene where Freddy Krueger drives him over the edge of a cliff? And he gets distracted because he sees an animatronic model of what he thinks is Jack from Return to Oz. And he says, hello, are you Jack from Return to Oz? But of course, it's just an animatronic model of a scarecrow. A scarecrow, that's what it is, love. It's just an animatronic scare scarecrow. Gee, that's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. Now, downstairs, the good witch is coming in looking for her pussy, but her pussy's running away. Yes, her pussy's out of control, love. Yes, the witch's pussy is malevolent. She has a malevolent, out-of-control pussy. Now, upstairs, what do we have? We're going to visit the upstairs area? No, I think we'll go downstairs. So I'm very good at walking into walls, aren't I? Yes, I am, as we've seen in our previous videos. Yes, that's right, walked into a wall again. So we have the good witch is going upstairs, yes, and she's followed by Devlin, and they're going to look for her munchkins because she can't find them anywhere. She says, where are my munchkins? Munchkins, where are you? So she's looking for her munchkins. 
is Eva comes down and she wants to do some Halloween shopping. Yes, she wants a Halloween costume. She wants to dress up as Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Yes, she does. So over here we have some pictures again. Yes, we can see Michael Myers a bit better, can't we? And we can see Angus Scrum. Yes, the late Angus Scrum, who played the tall man in the Phantasm movies. And so here comes Eva and she's going to look at the clothes and go, Oh look, these look like very nice Halloween costumes. But then she notices the masks up on the wall. She goes, Oh my God, that looks just like my mother. Because that looks like my mum. And she giggles and thinks how amazing it is that it looks just like her mum. It even has the same kind of makeup on the mask as my mum. She has a good giggle at that. Yes, she does. But she's feeling very amorous. She wants to go home and spend time with her husband. And of course Devlin comes down and he sees the Halloween costumes as well because he needs a Halloween costume. He thinks he's going to dress up as Gomez Adams from the Adams family. But then he sees the, sees the masks up on the wall and goes, Oh my god, that looks just like my mother-in-law. So he goes over to the masks and has a better look and goes, Oh my god, it's even got as many lines on its face as my mother-in-law has. So he's a good giggle at that because it does look just like his mother-in-law. Yes, it does. So now he's going downstairs to tell his wife that he's seen a mask that looks just like her mum, yes. And this woman over here that's at the magazine rack is looking at purchasing Australian PC user magazine, yes. Now, now mum is looking at the vending machine because she wants a red wine, but then realises they don't sell alcohol. So she's thinking that's a bit boring. And her son says, mum, I want some Lego. I want some Halloween Lego. I want to be, I want some Halloween Lego of Friday the 13th. Yes, I want some Friday the 13th Lego, Lego so I can build a summer camp and, and get rid of all the camp counsellors because they're evil. And she says, well love, we can get you some Lego and we'll get you some Halloween Lego in another shop, love, because I don't think they sell it here. He says, thanks mum, you're amazing. She says, I know. So Devlin's decided to go upstairs while this lady is still deciding whether to purchase Vogue magazine or Australian PC user magazine or PC World Australia. She can't decide, yes. It's a big decision. So he's gone upstairs again, up the second lot of stairs now, to go and get a drink because he's heard there's a bar upstairs. And he says, could I please have a screwdriver? He says, well, I can't give you a screwdriver because we don't do alcoholic drinks, but here we go. He says, what is that? He says, well, that is a vegetarian protein drink, yes. It's got kale, broccoli, and spinach, yes, it's very healthy. It also has soy milk, which will give you photoestrogens. And he's got a cold, so he's going to wipe his, his uh, nose on a sleeve, yes, because that's very hygienic. Yes, he's taken some cold drinks tablets, but they haven't kicked in yet, have they, love? No. That will teach you for trying to pick your nose with a spade, love. Yes, that's right. You've probably got a no nose infection, a sinus infection, yes. So now the wee sprocket is admiring these lanterns on the fence. Yes, he is. Those those were something I downloaded. Yes, Nana Beryl downloaded those from a website. Same with this lantern here, this big um, blow-up inflatable light-up lantern. It's quite amazing. It's a light modification, isn't it? Nice. Yes, it is. And over here, they've decided to order some more pancakes. So they're ordering some Halloween pancakes that are in the shape of a ghost face. Yes, and there's unsavoury charlatan who's causing havoc. Yes, he is. And she says, love, get a new routine. You're a bit 2004, she says to unsavoury charlatan. Yes, you're so, you're so 2004. Now out comes the husband, and he looks at the lantern, he's quite fascinated by that. Now the sprocket is talking about how he really wants some more Lego for Christmas. Yes, he wants some Lego for Christmas. She says, well that's wonderful, I'll get you some Lego for Christmas then, won't I, love? Because every child gets exactly what they want for Christmas, don't they, love? Because that's the thing. Yes, it is. Now I think they need to go home because they're a bit sleepy. So Devlin is going to call, yes he's going to call somebody, what are you doing there? Oh he's calling the police to report unsavoury charlatan. Yes, so he's reporting him because he's causing some drama. Yes, that's right. But his wife, Eva, she wants to go home, she wants to go to bed. And they're not happy they have only got beds, they don't have coffins to sleep in. They want coffins to sleep in, not beds, because beds are very uncomfortable. Yes. 
She likes the coffins they bring into the mortuary. Yes, she said one of those would do just fine. So they're going to have a bit of a dance. Yes, they are. Well, unsavory charlatan does his thing. Yes. And what's Dad doing? What are you doing, Dad? They're going to order some food. I thought you were going to leave. They're shutting it down. Look, they've turned the lights off. There's a nice subtle way of telling you to bugger off. Yes. They're saying, look, we're closing up, so just go away. So I think you should ring yourself a taxi. Yes, that's right. So Eva is going to ring her friend Cassandra. Yes, she's going to ring Cassandra. And she says, hello, Cassandra. Can you please come and pick us up? I know you're probably busy taking off your makeup after filming the Elvira episode you're filming tonight. But when you finish, can you please come and pick us up in your taxi? And Cassandra says, yes, yeah, sure. I'm just going to take up, take off my makeup with my oil-free makeup remover. And I'll be right down to pick you up in my taxi. Because I work as a taxi driver part-time when I'm not starring as Elvira. So now Elvira, or should I say Cassandra, has arrived to pick them up in her taxi. Yes, she has. And she's going to take them home, back to Spookyville. So I think that's where we'll leave our little video for today. So tune in again next time when we have another Sims video. Thank you, darlings. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.